What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Optimistic Prime, AKA OP. And we are here today with a new YouTube segment. This is my first video of many. And I just want to start out by saying I appreciate anybody who stops to watch. Maybe you can like, comment, and even subscribe and hit that notification bell. So I think we're gonna have a good one today. I got 170 stops, 201 different locations. For anybody who don't know, 107 stops is how many times they expect you to stop the truck. And when you have like 201 locations, that means there is two different locations in that stop. I got 3D, 82, so they technically don't count it as two stops they'll count it as one which is a kind of a bummer to me i feel like if you're going to two different places that should be two different stops but they say it's two different locations and one stop but nonetheless we still gonna get it done and i am here to be your instructor <laughs> no i'm not really here to instruct anybody i feel like everybody got their own way of doing stuff and if you ask me there is no right way to do anything in life it's just the right way to do it for yourself and your personal beliefs and whatever makes your destiny comes true please like and comment and subscribe if you could so I just got my first bag ready. As you see, I loaded it. Now I just have to find the overflow because if you look, I got an envelope and then I got a customized box. The bag is Navy 960, which I just put up as you see. Yep. And I have one overflow package in the back. The overflow packages are basically the packages that did not make it into the bag. Those overflow packages could range from anywhere from, I say 10 pounds all the way up to 50 pounds. We aren't supposed to get anything over 50 pounds. That don't mean you can't get two or three of 50 pounds, but you're not supposed to get one individual package that's over 50 pounds if you work for Amazon. So watch out for that. My first box should be right there. Zero, 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 zero. I go by the yellow tab stickers. I don't know about anybody else, but I just got done gassing up. So we're gonna go ahead and close that up. And I guess we can talk some more when we get to some deliveries. I see y'all then all right so we finally here delivery 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 what's so special about delivery well if you ask me i just feel like it's competitive pay um the job isn't so strenuous flexible hours depending on which delivery service partner you go with we can speak more about delivery service partners in a little bit but if you want to talk about the job it's not really a hard job not really much to do as far as responsibility other than making sure you don't crash this big lovely boat right here you know you don't want to get into the, any accidents with that or any type of property damage all those sorts of things you know just want to be a cool cat be a cool cat you'll be all right it's time for me to load my next bag so I guess while I'm doing that, I could talk more about the delivery service partners. Delivery service partners are the contractors who contract out the work from Amazon. I got box 75. Gotta remember which box I'm about to have so that I can set it on the front and I don't bury it at the bottom while I reload. But as I was saying, the delivery service partners get the work from amazon and they disperse it to their delivery drivers who they hire uh we don't technically work for amazon i know it's kind of confusing because 
we would drive Amazon trucks. I got on an Amazon vest and all that type of stuff, but we don't work for Amazon. The most we do for Amazon is deliver their packages. So depending on which delivery service partner you work for, there's different types of kinks. It's like going to different unions, basically in a sort. So my delivery service partner, once you deliver your whole route, I got a call. Yeah, so sorry about that guys. About 20 minutes later, <laughs> I got a, a phone call. Back to where we was, delivery service partners are all different. It just depends on which one you go to. Some of them uh, give you a specific duty to do your route. And then when you're done with your route, you can go home, basically. Hold on for one second. Hi, how Hi. you doing, doing ma'am? Doing well, thanks. I'm doing good myself. It's not raining so hard, so. Well, thank goodness for that, huh? <laughs> I, so I know. Run in and out. Yep, yep. Have a good one. Thank you. Yep, so, woo, the van sound like it's about to blow up. And I was supposed to cut it off. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. If I don't explain this stuff in this video, then I'll explain all this type of stuff in the next videos coming up. Depending on what I'm talking about and the subjects I'm talking about. Depending on the comments I get and the interactions I get, that means you guys gotta help me out with this. Come on, share my channel. Hit the subscribe button, comment, hit the notification bar, Bruh. whatever you gotta do. You know, let's get this out here some more so I can get more people, you know, talk about more things, get some money flowation. But my delivery service partner allows you to go home after you do your route, as long as it's not an emergency type deal. You know, somebody uh, flip over a truck and they need your help. You know, you gotta go do that. I mean, I would wanna go do that as a, a person having a heart, a human being having a great heart. I would wanna do those things for people if they were in that need of help. But anything other than that, you know, you, they have rescuers out on the road to take care of all those type of, you know, mishaps that can go on on the route. So when you get done with your route, you can just basically go home and you get paid for the remainder of the time you were supposed to be there. Some, some DSPs got nine hour routes, some DSPs got 10 hour routes. You know, at the end of the week, you still get those those hours, those, those remaining hours that you weren't at work. So I feel like that's very competitive. When it comes to other DSPs, it could differ a lot. Um, some DSPs want you to work every single minute all the way up and clock out at the right time to get your 10, nine hours, whatever you're you, uh, getting. And some DSPs, don't even have full routes so you would only get paid eight to four hours you know it's just something like flex like when you go in your regular car and you come up to the uh amazon hub and then you go deliver your packages and you go home and then however you finish you still get paid for that block but they all run different some are very lenient on the uniform some are very hard on the uniform some have better health plans when everybody says Amazon sucks and Amazon is this and that, it's not really Amazon most of the time. A lot of the time, it could be just the DSP you work for. And if you switch DSPs, you might find more benefits with that DSP. I think that that's very important when you go looking for an Amazon job that you talk to more than one or two DSPs who get all their benefits out the way, see what their plans are looking like. How are the personnel, the dispatchers, who's about to dispatch you out? Are they nice? Are they friendly? Do they have stipulations against anything that you would like to do on your free route? Which that's why I like this job a lot is because you have freedom. It's just a lot of freedom in this. Like, come on now. What am I really doing right now besides doop and dropping it off at the door? jump over a couple bushes do some 360s make a couple funny voices i mean it's not the best job in the world but it's definitely not the worst now they do start people off around like 15 dollars 16 dollars like i like i said again depending on the dsp you work for 
um i don't know what topping out can be it, it just all depends on the dsp you work for i know some people making 16 i know some people making 20 dollars an hour i can't really say how much i make that is kind of personal but i've been working here for about four years now about eight different delivery service partners don't get me wrong i'm i got flaws too no one's perfect you you, you know you might go to the first two or three and don't like it at all but in about four years, I've been with about nine companies at three or four different stations. And I finally found a company that I feel like suits me the most. No company is gonna be perfect, just like no human being is perfect. You get with the people you fit in and you get some raises if you're with the right people. Oh, look at that. They got the they got the Florida Tech on their grass. I guess the, uh, the their son or daughter just um, graduated. That looks nice. That actually look pretty sweet. Wish we can get a close up on it, but I, you know, I gotta finish my route. That's one good thing about these routes. You really get to make your own times. Now, of course, there is a standard. If you got an eight hour route, don't expect to be done with that eight hour route more than two hours before you're supposed to. So that means if I start at 12, and i have an eight hour route i should not expect to be done before six because that route is for you when you're not rushing 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 um you're taking breaks you know like i'm doing right now walking taking your time that's what those routes are accounted for the time on those routes so if you oh man i picked up the wrong package sorry y'all you know this happens a lot too it can be embarrassing if somebody was outside, but other than that, you know, just walk back to the car and get the regular one. Whichever one that is, it is 72, which the first one I put my hand on. But if you want to rush, you can get off about a couple hours early because you got to take it like this. Every second wasted 60 times is a minute. So if you're sitting here and you're just walking slow, you're wasting all those seconds, they're turning into minutes. Those minutes are turning into hours and then those hours will turn into routes. So basically, if you sit there and not waste those seconds and you go, 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 you'll get done fast, but you gotta always leave room for human error. Never go too fast to the point where you're messing up, man. You can't even be messing up out here. You don't wanna do that. You know, you got this buddy old pal right here watching your every move. We can get into that in another video, how this thing works. Comment down below if you want to talk about the Nitrodyne camera, Nitrodyne, I'm sorry. Um, it's basically a camera that watches your every move. Not only you, your person in the cab, but it watches all your driving outside and uh it's basically there for safety features and to spy on you you're gonna spy it's a spy camera to me but there's no harm in it um it's actually saved me a couple times i've been uh in accidents and almost getting in accidents and it shows how fast my speed was going and that i wasn't in the wrong Cause I was doing what I was supposed to be doing. It's, it's, it's really hit or miss. A lot of people don't like it. I know a lot of people who's quit because of it. As soon as they got those cameras in, they got those cameras here in Michigan about maybe a year and a half ago. Yeah, about a year and a half, maybe uh, two years. I can't really remember it right off top, but it's something like then. Dang, man, y'all didn't at the infinity. I, oh, I wonder what happened to it. Dang, still look good. Nice car. But yeah, a lot of people quit when these cameras came in. Maybe they was doing a little puff puff. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe a little drinkity drink. You know, you're not supposed to be doing none of that type of stuff on a job. I really don't um, recommend doing any of that. And it is against the law, but you know, some people just can't take the heat when it comes to these cameras. You cannot obstruct that camera. You obstruct that camera, it's gonna be 
really unpleasant for you because once the dispatchers get a hold of that, you can be terminated. But yeah, man, I don't really want to keep just blabbering about. This was a general video. Just...